Welcome to A Percent Club. Every Friday, two o'clock. Today, we're at our first ever retreat. And what I wanna talk about really quick is why, number one, you should have been here. But number two, how do you guarantee that you're a part of the 8%, right? How do you guarantee that you're not a part of the 92% of insurance agents that fell? Today, we're in Chandler, Arizona at a 9,000 square foot mansion helping agents, agency owners on how to grow their business, their brand, their marketing, their advertising, all of it, right? YouTube secrets, SEO, all the behind the scenes stuff. I really believe that if you wanna grow, you wanna be a part of the 8% that succeeds. And then once you get in the 8%, how do you bump it up to where, hey, I'm a part of the 1%, the 10th of a percent, the hundredth of a percent. Does that sound like something you'd be like to be a part of? I'm sure, right? So how do you make sure that those things happen? Some of the main things is that have changed my business. We were talking about this last night. We opened up the retreat. We have five guys here, right? We opened it up and we talked about what was the mind shift for me that made me start doing bigger stuff like this, bigger stuff like the conference, right? I went to a conference in Vegas. There was 9,000 people. I sat front row. I paid a lot of money to be there and it made me think bigger. I left thinking way bigger. That's when we decided to throw the 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference because I started thinking bigger. I stopped thinking so small. Then I went to a retreat, paid three grand to be a part of a retreat. And that weekend also I learned valuable nuggets from other people and I started to think bigger, which is why I'm a firm believer in always thinking bigger. You got more in the tank. You can do better. You got more, right? But if you don't invest bit in your brand, in your business, if you don't focus on learning valuable nuggets along the way, then you will probably end up being a part of the 92%. So instead, I am now committed hardcore to conferences, retreats, the value of learning from others, right? There's five people that paid to be a part of this this weekend, right? There's another couple that wasn't able to make it. I'm telling you, I will take away just as much from this weekend by networking and learning, probably then I'll give away, right? Simply because I'm trying to learn. I love being around people. I love saying, okay, what's working in your business? Here's what's working in mine. Here's some things that we can share, some valuable nuggets. If you're not a part of that stuff, I'm telling you, you will regret it at some point in the future if you don't get a part of those types of things. These events are meant to challenge you, right? A lot of people motivate people. And people say I motivate them. I don't even want, I don't even try to motivate you, right? I wanna challenge you because I feel like, okay, there's motivation, sure, get out of bed and go to freaking work. And then there's challenging you to do things bigger that you haven't done, to think bigger, to do more, to freaking go for it, right? And so the challenge that I'm gonna give to you right now on 8% Club is stop thinking so small. Dream big, think big, right? I was talking earlier last night about the value of setting a high target. When I set a high target, something stupid that nobody believes in, it forces me to go after it. It forces me to work harder. It for forces me to be more focused on that big target that I probably should have never set to begin with. But then also, you know what the best part about it is? It forces me to be more creative than I used to be. When you think small and you got little these little baby diaper doo-doo targets, there ain't nothing to think about. There's no reason to get creative because it's little stuff that you have no reason to be get creative for. When you set big targets, right, it forces you to think of creative ways of making that happen. There's a lot of people that did not think we would pull off 8% Nation last year. They thought I was nuts. This random dude that nobody knows is throwing a conference at an NFL stadium. He is psycho. I'm psycho, right? But at the end of the day, it forced me to pull it off. 
there were sponsors that paid money that didn't even think we were gonna pull it off, right? They're gonna look back in five years when we have 10,000 people, because I'm thinking bigger, and it's, I'm working harder at it, and it's forcing me to be more creative, that it ends up helping a lot of people, and it forces me to do more. So think about your business right now. How can you apply what I'm talking about to your business? How can you get around more people? How can you pay for access? Pay for access, pay for knowledge, pay for those valuable nuggets that you can learn, that you can implement, that force you to think bigger. Right now, I want you to say, I want you to determine what your goal is, right? Say you're an insurance agent and you're like, hey, I wanna write 400K over the last eight months of the year. That's 50 grand a month. I didn't even have to use my toes. That's about $12,500 a week. That's about $2,500 a day. What can you do to work harder, think bigger, focus more, and get more creative on how to make that a reality? Whatever it is, I'm telling you, think bigger. Go public with your ideas. Make people think that you're insane, but then deliver by freaking going after it. So my message to you is, I wanna challenge you to do some big stuff. We're doing some big stuff. And right now, if this feels big to a lot of people. This is like, dang, you got a bunch of people to fly from all over the country, Georgia, right by Illinois, somebody from Arizona, somebody from Texas, right? Et cetera, et cetera. They're like, you're doing some amazing big stuff. Some Mississippi, They're like you're doing big stuff, right? This ain't big. I'm gonna look back in five years and laugh at the fact that I thought this was big. So in your business right now, Think about the things that you can do that are big, that are big, that challenge you. That'll get you motivated because you're forced to be challenged and then find creative ways to put forth the effort to freaking deliver. So my message to you on 8% Club, I love 8% Club, this is probably my favorite background we've ever done, right? I love the studio, we got a sick 10 screen studio, but this is nuts, right? Find ways to freaking blow up your business and it starts up here. Quit thinking so small. Quit thinking that you have no money to invest. I've went into debt many times over to figure stuff out, right, along the way. Do whatever it takes to get there. Start thinking bigger. Implement it. Go for it. It's going to be a fun ride. Thanks for watching 8% Club. Have an awesome weekend. Appreciate you guys. If you're just now following us, subscribe and follow me on IG at Cody.Askins. Have a great Friday, good rest of your week, and a great weekend. Thanks for watching.